well, I'm wearing my reflective gear, as you can see. Uh, Monday morning. Now I can say I love Monday mornings. <laughs> Getting up and going to work. People complain about Monday mornings after the weekend. I'm not. This is wonderful. I get to go to work. My body's a little bit stiff and sore, but that's okay. It's the hand gripping thing. Because I'm using an air, air gun or a nail gun, so it's uh, repetitive on all day, so a little bit sore, but that's okay. <clears throat> I'll work them kinks out. Takes me back to my laborer days when I used to labor all the time and do hard jobs. I'm going to read uh, the first chapter of Second Corinthians this morning. <clears throat> All right, Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus through the will of God, and brother Timothy to the ecclesia of God, which is in Corinth, together with all the saints who are in the whole of Achaia. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed is the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of pities and God of all consolation, who is consoling us in every affliction to enable us to be consoling those in every affliction through the consolation which, with which we ourselves are being consoled by God, seeing that according as the sufferings of Christ are superabounding in us, thus through Christ our consolation also is super superabounding. Now whether we are being afflicted for, for, your, for your consolation and salvation or whether... We are being consoled for your consolation, which is operating in the endurance of the same sufferings, which we also are suffering. Our expectation also is confirmed over you, being aware that are you, as you are participants of the sufferings, thus of the consolation also. For we do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning our affliction, which came to us in the province of Asia, that we were inordinately burdened, burdened over our ability so that we were dis despairing of life also. And how many of us were doing that? Are doing that. Despairing of life also. So many afflictions, so many trials, so we think, okay, well, we despair of life. And we look to be out of this life. I know a lot of us do anyway. We want to go home to be with our Lord, to our, our real home. But while we are here, we, we should not uh, be despairing of life because honestly, we have a life and God has graced us with it. So I know we do. I just pray for all of you and I console you as you console me in my afflictions and trials. I console and pray for you in your trials and your tribulations. So there's a consolation between brethren. <coughs> and Paul was speaking of that, you know, being afflicted and uh, suffering, we console one another. Who, okay, but we have the rescript of death in ourselves, that we may, ha may be having no confidence in ourselves, but in God, who rouses the dead, who rescues us from a death of such proportions, and will be rescuing, on whom we rely that he will, be, he will still be rescuing also, you also ass assisting together by a petition for us in order that many, that from many faces he may be thanked, by many for, for us for the gracious gift given to us. For our boasting in, in this <clears throat> is this, the testimony of our conscience that in holiness and sincerity of God, not in fleshly wisdom, but in the grace of God, we behaved ourselves in the world yet more superabundantly towards you. For no other things are we writing to you than what you are reading or recognizing also. Now I'm expecting that you will, be, you will recognize ultimately according as you also recognize us in part. For we are your glorying even as you also are ours in the day of the Lord Jesus. And in this confidence, I intended formally to come to you that you should be having a second grace and through you to pass through into Macedonia and to come again from Macedonia to you 
and by you to be sent forward into Judea. Intending this, <clears throat> then consequently do I not use, use lightness. I do not use lightness. Or what I am planning, I am I planning according to the flesh that it may be with you, with me. Yes, yes, and no, no. Now God is faithful for our word to, toward you is not yes and no. For the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who is being heralded among you through us, through me and Silvanus and Timothy, become, became not yes and no, but in him he has become yes. For whatever promises are of God are in him, yes. Wherefore through him is also, also is the amen to God for glory through us. Now he who is confirming us together with you in Christ and anoints us is God, who also sends us and is giving the earnest of the Spirit in our hearts. Now I am invoking God as a witness on my soul that to spare you I am no longer to Corinth. Not that we are lording it over your faith, but are fellow workers of your joy. For you stand fast in the faith. Okay, and that's what we need to do. Stand fast in the faith and know that God is God and he has a plan for us to be giving out and to be illuminating his love and truth. All right, folks, I'm going to be heading to work here, so grace and peace to you. Have a great day in the Lord.